Hi, Stephen Nicholas here. Thanks for joining me for this short instructional video on stories. How to come up with stories. And that's a really important question in this five sequence drawing process. You're probably engaged in the 30 day challenge doing one of these different uh, five sequence drawing each day for 30 days. Change your life. That's what it's all about. So, we're going to just make a couple of lists today. We've got the paper, and I've got celebrations, transformations. Celebrations is about resources, positive experiences, positive memories, positive relationships that create a good experience in my body as I think about them, experience them, engage in them. Transformations, those are places you know, more likely where I get stuck, where I, I maybe get a little worried, a little anxious, a little fearful, a little angry, lack of patience. Maybe I, I you know, have all of those kinds of circumstances and some of them are really small, some of them are medium sized, some of them are large. And the same thing with my strengths and resources as it is with these parts of my life where I get kind of these stuck, unresourceful experiences and patterns. So let's just list a few and you're welcome. Grab a piece of paper, put a line down the middle, celebrations, transformations. So let's talk about transformations, places I get stuck. Repetitive thinking. So it could be thinking and many times of course it's also repetitive feelings. And in this case, you know, maybe I'm talking about, you know, fearful things, maybe I'm talking about impatience, maybe I'm talking about anger, maybe I'm talking about confusion, things such as that. And then those are always connected to other relationships, certainly in here and many times out there in the world with family members, colleagues, friends, neighbors, um, historical relationships that go back in time. Uh, other things might be kind of symptomatic experiences I have. Uh, you know, many of us, well, okay, all of us have our families of origin and we got the mom's side and we got dad's side and there's patterns that we get from both, both of our, our sides of our lineage. Some of those are terrible patterns and some of those are really wonderful patterns. And they, they vary typically. My, my father's side of the family was a lot kinder in many cases than my mother's side of the family. So a little bit more anxiety on, the, on my mom's side of the family, you know, and kindness, but also some, you know, depression on my dad's side of the family. So guess what? Stephen ends up with both of those. So on the one hand, I've got, you know, a lot more kindness over here. And it's also true that sometimes I'm not as kind. You know, I can be, this is in the old days, I'm of course never this way anymore. You know, I could be mean to people. And um, hard worker. You know, I have a work ethic. That's a positive, generally, you know, unless I lose myself in, in work, then it can kind of also have a second side, which might be over here. And, uh, you know, I'm a pretty smart guy, right? I got intelligence, and that plays out. And I notice that, I know about that in particular parts of my life. And so that's something to celebrate. Um, that's an A, that's an N. Impatience. Sometimes, believe it or not, those of you that may know me, I can be impatient. And some of the ways, you know, it's interesting about impatience is with my, my printing. When I take more time with my printing, it's amazing what happens. It, it improves. So I'm also many times a lot calmer, 
that is a strength to celebrate. So in the five sequence drying process, we want to be able to do both. We want to be able to explore how do I transfer some of these, transform some of these experiences that are patterns that I'm not truly happy with, that cause me difficulties in one place or another in my life. But I also want to be able to create more of my kindness, more of my hard work, and, and use my intelligence in more resourceful and useful, useful ways to bring calmness to some of this impatience, impatience, calmness to some of this over here and here and here. So that's the whole idea. Make a list. What are some of your strengths and resources? Where are places where you get stuck and you'd like to create more flexibility and more choices for yourself? And then you've got a list of both because you want to draw about both. We want to have more of our experiences to celebrate and we want to transform these places where we get stuck. Make your list. It'll be there for you, and then you can just pull things off of that when you're wondering, well, what can I draw about today? Thanks for showing up. Look for you in the next video.